Hi, my name is Nathan Kwan, and welcome to the City Sports Preview of the 2016 European Championships happening in France. France are hosting their third European Championships after doing so in 1960 and 1984, the year in which they hosted and won. And this year's tournament is the 15th to be organized by UEFA. And it's a special one. For the first time ever, 24 teams are going to take part in the European Championships. I know you're wondering what's going to happen. Well, it's very simple. So there will be 24 teams split, in, split into six groups of four. Now what will happen is that group winners and runners-up will get to qualify in addition to four third best place teams. That makes 16 in the next round and then the competition breaks itself from there at that point. So 16 in the second round, 8 in the quarters, 4 in the semi and 2 in the final. The tournament will be played across 10 cities in France, Saint-Denis, Paris, Lyon, Saint-Étienne, Lille, Bordeaux, Nice, Lens, Toulouse and Marseille. So for this tournament, UEFA have chosen 18 different referees from different countries. The star man being Mark Lattenberg. Yes, the man who handled the FA Cup final and the UEFA Champions League final. Very popular referee for all of us. He will be the star man officiating at this year's Euros in France. One other interesting point is that the Euro 2016 tournament has its own tournament match ball. Now you've seen the World Cup have its own match ball. Previous Euros have their own match balls. Well, this year's edition is no different. The match ball for this tournament is called the Adidas Beaujeu. Now the Beaujeu is French for the beautiful game. And certainly, all the 24 teams in France should serve us a fantastic feast of football. Just one more thing before I go. There are five new teams taking part in this year's tournament. There's Albania, Iceland, Northern Ireland, Wales and Slovakia. So we'll get to see these teams take part against the rest of Europe for the very first time. That means we get to see Gareth Bale, Marek Hamšík, and Gilfi Sigurdsson taking part in the tournament for their respective countries. So there you have it, a complete breakdown of what the tournament looks like from the outside. Now in subsequent videos, we'll start breaking the teams down, looking at their groups, we'll find out who is likely to make it and who is not. But do join us as we look at the Euro 2016 here on City TV. My name is Nathan Crow. Tournament starts from June 10th all the way to July 11th. Catch you then and enjoy the Euro.